Today is Wednesday, October 6, 2021. Welcome to today's daily prayers. Our theme this week is all things are possible. Let us pray. Almighty God, for whom nothing is impossible, help us in the midst of our unbelief to live and work as people for whom nothing is impossible, because you are with us. In the name of Jesus, who is a miracle and who yet performs miracles, amen. Our psalm this week is Psalm 103. Let my whole being bless true life. Let everything inside me bless God's holy name. Let my whole being bless true life and never forget all God's good deeds. How God forgives all your sins, heals all your sickness, saves your life from the pit, crowns you with faithful love and compassion, and satisfies you with plenty of good things so that your youth is made fresh like an eagle's. True life works righteousness, does justice for all who are oppressed. God made God's ways known to Moses, made God's deeds known to the Israelites. True life is compassionate and merciful, very patient and full of faithful love. God won't always play the judge. God won't be angry forever. God doesn't deal with us according to our sin or repay us according to our wrongdoing. Because as high as heaven is above the earth, that's how large God's faithful love is for those who honor God. As far as the east is from west, that's how far God has removed our sin from us. Like a parent feels compassion for their children, that's how true life feels compassion for those who honor God because God knows how we're made. God remembers we're just dust. The days of a human life are like grass. They bloom like a wildflower, but when the wind blows through, it's gone. Even the ground where it stood doesn't remember it. But true life's faithful love is from forever ago to forever from now for those who honor God. And God's righteousness reaches to the grandchildren of those who keep God's covenant and remember to keep God's commands. True life has established God's throne in heaven and God's kingdom rules over all. You divine messengers bless true life. You who are mighty in power and keep God's word, who obey everything God says, bless God. All you heavenly forces bless true life. All you who serve God and do God's will, bless God. All God's creatures bless true life. Everywhere, Throughout God's kingdom, let my whole being bless true life. Our daily scripture is Isaiah 40, verses 18 through 31. So to whom will you equate God? To what likeness 
when you compare God. An idol? A craftsman pours it. A metal worker covers it with gold and fashions silver chains. The one who sets up an image chooses wood that won't rot and then seeks a skilled artisan to set up an idol that won't move. Don't you know? Haven't you heard? Wasn't it announced to you from the beginning? Haven't you understood since the earth was founded? God inhabits the earth's horizon. Its inhabitants are like locusts. Stretches out the skies like a curtain and spreads it out like a tent for dwelling. God makes dignitaries useless and the earth's judges into nothing. Scarcely are they planted, scarcely sown, scarcely is their shoot rooted in the earth when God breathes on them and they dry up. The windstorm carries them off like straw. So to whom will you compare me? And who is my equal, says the Holy One? Look up at the sky and consider, who created these? The one who brings out their attendants one by one, summoning each of them by name. Because of God's great strength and mighty power, not one is missing. Why do you say, Jacob, and declare Israel, my way is hidden from true life, my God ignores my predicament? Don't you know haven't you heard? True life is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. God doesn't grow weary or tired. God's understanding is beyond human reach, giving power to the tired and reviving the exhausted. Youths will become tired and weary. Young men will certainly stumble, but those who wait in true life will renew their strength. They will fly up on wings like eagles. They will run and not be tired. They will walk and not be weary. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. What helps you experience the grandeur and greatness of God? How can you build more of such things into your life? When you experience God's greatness, how does that help put into perspective the true uselessness of the false gods we tend to worship? Gods like money, power, convenience, etc.
verses 28 through 31 of this passage offer us some of the most hopeful and encouraging words of the scriptures. God will renew us, no matter how exhausted we may be. What do you need to do right now to place yourself within God's healing and renewing presence? Our reading today comes from How You Can Be a Peacemaker by Mary Evelyn Yagen. When we stop to think about it, recognizing ourselves as disciples of Jesus puts everything in our lives into focus. It gives us a measuring stick for making decisions about what we will or will not do. We need to realize that Jesus, too, was a disciple. A disciple is one who learns through association with a master teacher, learns by sharing in the teacher's life as well as listening to his or her words. Jesus was a disciple of our Father, and his deepest longing for his own disciples was to bring them into the communion he enjoyed with the God he trusted and in whose love he rejoiced. The Gospel of John reflects this longing. I pray not only for these, but for those who, through their words, will also believe in me. May they all be one. Father, may they be one in us as you are in me and I am in you, so that the world may believe it was you who sent me. John 17, verses 20 through 21. Let us pray. God of renewal, we run ourselves ragged, trying to accomplish all the things we think are so important. We work too many hours. We engage in too many activities. We refuse to enjoy the gift of Sabbath rest. Help us to let go of all these things so that we can find rest and renewal in your presence. Thank you for the gift of the Sabbath. May we receive it as the gift it is and enjoy its healing power. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Thank you for the gift of silence in which we can tune into your presence and know that we are not alone. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Thank you for the gift of work through which we participate in your acts of creativity in the world. May we discover the joy of returning to our work renewed, refreshed, and ready to do what you have called us to do. Lord, 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Receive this prayer of benediction. Send me now, my God, into the world to accomplish all you have assigned to me. Let me live and work without fear or timidity. Amen. Go in peace.